Robert Michael Franklin, Jr., please come forward. In memory of our ancestors on whose shoulders we stand, and on behalf of the presidents and leaders who preceded you, I am pleased to affirm that you have been selected to lead Morehouse College in her continuing march toward excellence and achievement in the manner so capably demonstrated by our ancestors and founders. We therefore charge you, as president of Morehouse College, to embrace the primacy of working diligently, living creditably, and acting honorably at all times. May you constantly engage all of your mind, heart, and strength to maintain the honor, integrity, and excellence of this institution. We charge you to be committed to the discipline and open-minded pursuit of truth and scholarly excellence as you inspire in our students a love of wisdom which requires neither justification, apology, nor defense. It is our hope that your involvement in education is so sincere and your interest in learning so constant that your energetic and imaginative influence, not only at Morehouse but throughout the world, is destined to be considerable in the years to come. We charge you to perform the duties of the Office of President with dignity and efficiency in constant concert with a calm reasonableness and a moral urgency. May you stand against mediocrity with creative impatience and against all forms of corruption with righteous audacity. We charge you to be an intelligent and conscientious leader of men as you preside over a microcosm of the beloved community. And now, the affirmation and charge. As Secretary of the Board of Trustees and Keeper of the Records, it's my honor and pleasure to ask you, Robert Michael Franklin, Jr., if you would, to raise your hand, your right hand at this time. I, Robert Michael Franklin. I, Robert Michael Franklin. Do solemnly vow. Do solemnly vow. To uphold. To uphold. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The bylaws of the Constitution of Morehouse College. The bylaws of the Constitution of Morehouse College. So help me God. So help me God. <clears throat> Having heard the solemn vow before this august assembly, I now am authorized to declare that the 141st Corporation of Morehouse College, known as the Board of Trustees, sanctions your authority as Chief Executive Officer of this institution, a token of which I present to you at this time the Charter of the College. Robert Michael Franklin, Frank Franklin, Jr. I, as Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, am honored to present to you, sir, the seven keys which are the master for gaining access or preventing entrance, possession, or control of all of the doors of Morehouse College. are symbols of the confidence 
and trust invested in you by the Board of Trustees. I also present to you the seal of the college. Michael Franklin, you now wear the vestment that symbolizes the honor and responsibility of leading this institution. The Presidential Ceremonial Medallion and Chain represent the long, illustrious tradition of Morehouse College. The medallion itself shows the seal of the college. The chain design incorporates the Adenkra symbol, Fiancra, meaning safe, secure house. With each Fiancra symbol, the name of a former president of the college is engraved on a small sterling silver disc. In between the Fianca links are Mali Dogan icons, which represent rebirth and generation and regeneration, and Zaire Conga icons, which represent spiritual continuity and Renaissance par excellence. They are etched in bronze and soldered onto sterling silver disc. Directly over the medallion, the chain displays a large garnet stone behind an obelisk. The garnet stone not only represents the school color of maroon, but also references the legend that garnets have to enable the wearer to see what others may not while in leadership. Noah is said to have put a garnet at the helm of his ark to light the path through the darkness. Even today, the garnet symbolizes faith, truth, and light, as well as fire and illumination. The back of the medallion is inscribed the Presidential Medallion of Morehouse, founded 1867 by Reverend William Jefferson White in the Silver Bluff Springfield Baptist Church, Augusta, Georgia. The Morehouse Presidential Chain and Medallion was designed and manually created with construction techniques by metalsmith Charnel Holloway, Spelman College, class of 1979. We now give you officially your medallion, the seal of the college. Mm -hmm. You have my sincerest congratulations and best wishes. <laughs> Prayer for guidance, progress, and peace. Let us pray for our president. 
eternal God of life and love, we praise you for Morehouse College, the mother of great men who love freedom more than fame, truth more than treasure, and hope more than comfort or convenience. We confess our universal indebtedness to this place, which teaches math and music, science and soul, technology and responsibility, economics and ethics, faith and finance, physics and philosophy, hard work and fair play. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this colorful collegium of academic leaders who gather here to rejoice with us, who rejoice in the advent of your servant, Robert, for whom you pray, for whom we pray as he brings new leadership to this place where newer leaders will be awakened and activated, discovered and developed, challenged and charged to go into all the places of this world as innovators and not replicators, voices, not whispers, headlights, not taillights, active agents, not passive patients, as they demonstrate wisdom, peace, justice among all races, religions, and nations. Bless Old Morehouse this day. Bless its new and abounding president. Lord, we do not pray for, strength, for tasks equal to his strength, but for strength that exceeds all his tasks. May he never have need of friend or finance is not matched and exceeded by your abundance and our generosity. Imbue him with wisdom. Endow him with your Holy Spirit that he may never seek the love of power, but the power of love. May this 10th president of Morehouse College be set as a city upon a hill that cannot be hid, that all may look and see that life is livable, light is inextinguishable, love is effectual, people are beautiful, children are teachable, time is redeemable, cities are renewable, mountains are movable, injustice is correctable, peace is attainable, freedom is achievable, hell is avoidable, and heaven is reachable and all things are possible through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Bless him, Holy Spirit. Touch him today. Bless him in your own way. And not only he, but all the world will be the better for this day. Time has come, Mr. President. The mace is a symbol of honor, authority, command. It's crowned with a cast bronze pyramid. Several Ghanaian symbols are used throughout the piece. Two branches that represent the tree of life and acknowledge God as the source of all life. The branches form a protective arch over two human figures. Matt, the female, personifies balance, benevolence, harmony, justice, method, 
spirit, truth, and wholeness. The notch palm branch she holds represents the gift of a million years, an African concept of eternity. The male figure is the typical Morehouse man. He holds the wasepper, a symbol of power, dominion, and self-mastery. Just below these figures on the mace is the Morehouse College seal. The carvings on the back of the mace include the scribe's outfit, which symbolizes academic pursuits, the seal of Martin Luther King Jr. International Chapel, which encourages ecumenical theological education. It is my pleasure, Mr. President, to present to you the mace of the college as a symbol of your delegated power and the prerogative in keeping with the example set by those leaders who have preceded you in this office. In recognition of the 141st anniversary of the founding of Morehouse College and the inauguration of its 10th president, you may now, Dr. Franklin, sit in the Morehouse College presidential chair, a work of art that symbolizes both the significance of the office of the president and the person who holds it. Made of polished cherry wood, the presidential chair features carved images that represent universal truths and academic ideals, as well as key aspects of ancient African culture and heritage. Like the mace, it is also inscribed in three languages, Latin, Greek, and hieroglyphics. The chair itself, which stands six feet six inches tall, is designed like a pulpit chair, suggestive of the history of Morehouse College, which was founded in 1867 in the basement of Springfield Baptist Church in Augusta, Georgia, the oldest independent African-American congregation in the United States. May this historic chair always remind you of your commitment to the noble heritage and traditions of this wonderful institution. the authority best invested in me by the Board of Trustees and according to the unanimous recommendation of the search committee and the vote of the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to have ensured the pre presentation of these symbols of responsibility, authority, and service to you as you continue to move forward as president of this institution. May you receive these symbols of authority in the name of eternal God and may God keep you, sustain you, and guide you as you lead the college in the years to come. 